football. It really is a game of two halves, isn't it? What's going on everyone, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, and welcome to the match review of Chelsea's 2-0 win against Nottingham Forest at home in the FA Cup. Players wearing this delicious kit. Quick shout out to how magnificent the Chelsea players did look out there in the throwback 70s kit. They looked a lot better than me, but you know, it's not hard when you're a professional athlete. Anyway, goals in the first half coming from both Ross Barkley and Callum hudson Adoy. Now, leading up to this, Frank Lampard, I thought that he should be really taking this seriously and he put out, I guess, quite a strong lineup. Obviously heavily rotated, I think about nine changes. I was surprised to see both Kovacic and Jorginho starting, but I'm pleased he put out a strong enough side to demonstrate how seriously he was taking this competition. Nottingham Forest made a load of changes themselves as they are sort of preferencing or prioritising uh, an attempt at promotion from the championship, but it was a chance to give some of their fringe players, uh, well, their star signing a run out, and also the kid Mighton up front. Shout out to him quickly now, the young forward. He was excellent. Um, he was pretty much the only Forest player that was really standing out and actually trying his hardest. Anyway, the FA Cup is absolutely something Frank Lampard should be targeting to try and win this season. If he can finish the uh, season with just like a, a final, that would be superb. Um, you know, you just expect meeting someone like Manchester City in the final, so whatever happens from there happens from there. But a good FA Cup run would be very, very good for Frank Lampard. So getting through to the next round was paramount and Chelsea did that with a clean sheet and a, <laughs> a couple of helpful moments from VAR. All right, let's show you some of the stats and all that lark. So let's open the analysis screen. Right there, next to me, I've used the Who Scored Match Center for statistical context and reference. And <laughs> showing you the lineup, Frank Lampard sent out a very rotated B side with Willie Caballero in goal, Rhys James at right back. Uh, Emerson at left back, Tomori and Christensen in the centre back partnership. Like I said, both Kovacic and Jorginho started, I was surprised to see. And the third midfielder was Ross Barkley. Up front, Michy Batshuayi, no surprise there. Flanked by Hudson Adoy and Pedro. Lampard did make some changes in this game. He took off Kovacic, who wasn't actually that great, brought on Mason Mount. And he took off Pedro, who also was underwhelming, and brought on Tariq Lamptey, who actually played, surprisingly, in the front three, and played very well. He did a cross, like a cutback at the end that was magnificent. Very, very nimble little player, and I could see him playing in the front three, Lamptey, which is exciting and an interesting prospect. Really, this was a game of two halves, though. Chelsea were really, really good in the first half, and absolutely the two standout players for Chelsea were on the right flank and that was Rhys James and Callum hudson Adoy. Callum hudson Adoy obviously getting the early goal but his shot deflected or uh, blocked was how Ross Barkley scored his goal and Chelsea second and right at the end hudson Adoy forced an excellent save. To be honest he probably should have had a couple of goals and a couple of assists in this game. I think Chelsea had their foot off the gas for the majority of the game, certainly for what looked like the entirety of the second half. Nottingham Forest offered absolutely nothing in the first half. It was complete Chelsea dominance. It was the Reese James show putting in magnificent cross or pass after pass after pass after cross, putting loads of chances on Missy Batshuayi's head, chest, boot or whatever, but he was abysmal in this game. We'll go through player performances a little bit more in better detail in just a moment. Chelsea had a penalty overruled in their favour for what was a really soft, or what would have been a really soft penalty against Fakayo Tomori. You see him given, but to me, he got the ball and it would have been a really, really soft penalty to concede. But there was a marginal offside prior to that. Chelsea also conceded in the second half. That was ruled offside by VAR. Again, it was marginal, but this is what they do. They get the little lines out, don't they? But poor set piece defending on that goal as per usual for the Blues. Right, I hope you've had a look at the statistics. I just wanted to bring it up so you could read it in. But let's get rid of the analysis screen and talk about the players. Right, firstly, Willy Caballero made a couple of saves. Decent. He's always decent. You 
back him to maybe even save that penalty if indeed Chelsea did concede it. Emerson was okay at left back. He had a chance where he took a shot on him and really he should be hitting the target and he blazed it wide near the end. Not really properly testing opposition, but he was okay. Both centre backs were decent. Tamori had good moments. Uh, Christensen was really good. He had a couple of moments when he drove into midfield that was quite impressive, reminding you that really he's a very capable technical footballing centre back. Uh, again, the level of opposition has to be taken into account, but both centre backs were pretty decent in this game. Like I said, the poor moments from Chelsea defending were probably more of a whole systemic thing rather than individual mistakes. Before we talk about the right flank, let's get into the midfield. Jorginho, I think, was very good. Probably not on his A game, didn't need to be. Certainly a lot better than Kovacic. Kovacic has looked off. When he came on as a sub last game, or last time out, he looked really, really bad against Brighton. And this game, to be honest, he only had a couple of half decent moments. And for me, he was rather underwhelming before he came off. So yeah, Jorginho was good enough for me. Mason Mount came on, didn't really get a chance to do anything. Obviously getting a lot of stick from the Nottingham Forest fans because he played for Derby last season but really he didn't get a chance to demonstrate anything. Pedro, again, underwhelming. I think he had a couple of good moments in the first perhaps 50 minutes of the game. First half, a couple of good moments. Again, for me, he's out the door, really. He can really do a job somewhere else, but for Chelsea, I think Pedro Rodriguez's time is done. Rather underwhelming for me. Tarek Lamptey came on, looked very, very good. Played in the front three, rather surprisingly. And to be honest, the kid looks very, very promising. He just looks so, so tiny. He does look like your mate's little brother. He's just, you know, but really he's like 19, but he looks so small. Regardless, the pace of the game and even the physicality of the game doesn't seem to bother him. Jody Morris believes in him, so does Joe Edwards, and therefore Frank Lampard believes in him. And if he can play anywhere along that right flank and indeed the front three, doing cutbacks for the midfielders and strikers, very, very good. And he was positive in this game. Now, Michi Batshuayi, he was jank. I think I understand why Frank Lampard gave him the whole game, because he's probably thinking of... Do I keep Michi? I reckon he's going to ship out Giroud regardless this month. So what's the point in getting him injured by playing him? I think that's the plan. Don't get Giroud injured. Just play Batshuayi all the way through. But my goodness, was he bad. In the first half alone, I think at least three, maybe four perfect deliveries from Reese James to Michi Batshuayi. Each time he found different ways to, to mess it up and blaze it over, miss or offer the ball to the opposition. Really, really poor. I don't want to slag him off too much because we know he's a good finisher generally, but when he was receiving the ball in this game over and over and over, he was dismal. So I don't want to spend that much time on him anymore. <laughs> I just want to say he wasn't good. You know who was good though? Callum hudson Adoy Scored an early goal. The opposition gave him too much time and space to finish. It was a good finish. His shot was obviously what resulted in a Barkley goal as well. And he probably was feels a bit hard done by by having that last second shot saved which is a really good strike on goal um, loads of good moments really good in possession released the ball well switched play very well wasn't too selfish like if we remember take your minds back to the Grimsby game I was at that game he got his goal in the end in a 7-1 win but throughout that game he was trying too hard and it was affecting his game negatively this was not the case today against Nottingham Forest, which is obviously a much higher level opposition than Grimsby. He expressed himself, he played in a professional manner, and he really did demonstrate some of the ability he has. And if he can get some of that back into the Premier League, into the Champions League, Chelsea and Chelsea fans will start to remember what a gem they have on their hands. So, superb from Callum hudson Doy. But for me personally, it was all about Reese James pretty much in the first half because Chelsea as a whole took their foot off the gas in the second half. But Reese James was magnificent. Immaculate delivery crosses over and over and over. Superb defensively, really good aggression and holding up the ball, retaining possession. He did that amazing little skill that I'm sure you've all seen on Twitter when he holds up two people, does a little back flick and runs out of the press. He's got the tackling, he's got the dribbling, he's got the skills, he's got the defense, he's got the attack, he's got the delivery, and he demonstrated 
all of that today, young Rhys James. At the end of the game, he got given a yellow card and booked for a foul, which was not a foul. He basically won the ball, kicked it away, and as his leg was coming down, it hit another player, well, an opposition player, and he was booked for it. It was never a foul. The fact that he got a yellow card for me was pretty farcical. But in terms of his all-round performance, Rhys James, all the way down that right flank and even drifting uh, in the field when he made like inverted runs. He was superb. He looks like the complete player. I don't mean like the complete fullback. I mean the complete footballer, 20 years old. It, already he looks superb. Give him another year or two years in the Chelsea first team with the Chelsea first team coaches. This kid is absolutely magnificent. And Trent Alexander-Arnold, I know this might sound like hyperbole. I think he's gonna start worrying about his starting right back spot. For England, I know he is probably the best right back in the world, Alexander Arnold, but I'm just saying, probably as a biased Chelsea fan, he is, Rhys James has it all. He looks much better defensively than Alexander Arnold. He's stronger, his delivery looks just as good, and he's doing dribbling skills out of the press. If he starts doing that against high tier opposition, which I believe he can do, the world will start talking about him. Anyway, what do you guys think of the game? For me, it was a game of the first half. Frank, I think, will be a little bit annoyed of how Chelsea didn't really bury the game, but to be honest, he'll probably just be happy. It's over, no injuries, move on, clean sheet. VAR helped him out a little bit, but let me know your thoughts. Get down in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed today's match review, please make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.